the, you know what? This is like home away from home for me. It's like been at work home or something. I don't know about y'all, but I love, like, I like to make everything feel homey wherever I go because I'm always on the road, you know, stay in hotels, things like that. So I like to make any place I go feel like home. So I hope you guys feel like you are at home at my house here at the Happy Place is what I'm saying. I take, I like to personalize things. Like even here, I have my little hearts. I make sure I have things like this around. I have my affirmations and things like this around. I, if you came to my house in Chicago, you'll see a piano. That's what inspires all of this over here. You see what I'm saying? I love, I love butterflies. I love mugs. Baby, pictures, pictures, pictures. You see the pictures over there, y'all? Okay. I love having photos and all of those things. Like, I just like making it feel like I'm at home. You know what I mean? So, I'm going to have a little fun with you guys today because we're doing a segment, out with the old and with the new. And we're going to have Martine come out, and he's going to show us some stuff. Speaking of which, OK, see, this is only a little piece you got to see. So in my office, during the holidays, you all got to see the decorations we put up. Can you tell I love Christmas? <laughs> it was so many trees and decorations in there, baby, we couldn't even get in the room to have a meeting, OK? But you see from this, you see how much I love the holidays. And then all of a sudden, after the holidays was over, it went away, right? And then the room. Look like that. And I was like, mm, I don't feel like I know myself in here. I need to feel like I know me. So I was like, oh, let's Jenniferize it a little bit and put a little things in there that I love. So I had to go find some. Look, we put some little pillows in there because I love to be mushed up. OK, come on, we got to do a little bit better than that. Then, so listen, there we go. OK, that's a little bit better. All right, I, everything here at J-Hug Productions is from the heart. So you see the heart pillow, you see the little colorful pillows. We got a few little plants to talk to up in there and things like that. Curtains to zhuzh it up, okay? You see the butterflies on the wall, and then I had to add some pictures. So even when I have moments with y'all and take pictures, I'll be like, listen, that's a part of the tunnel of memory so we all can remember the beautiful life that we have lived and reminisce on, okay? So I say all that to say, like I said earlier, later on we're gonna have a segment with Martin. He's gonna come out and show us how we could make the smallest changes to make the biggest impact, which is gonna be a little fun. All right. A lot of fun, should I say. But first, it is time to bring out my first guest. And I hope she feels at home. Our first guest has been a working actor since she was six years old. You know her from her iconic role as Darlene on Roseanne and The Connors. Please welcome Emmy Award winner, Sarah Gilbert. Come on out. So happy to see you. Hi, everybody. Wow. I feel at home. Yeah, I, I'm good because I used to watch you growing up on Roseanne. Yeah. In my home. All of our homes, right, y'all? But I will say this is homier than my home, probably, okay. because <laughs> I'm really, like, overly particular, probably. And, like, one, my youngest kid, who's almost nine, mm -hmm. will say that calls me a furniture advocate. Because I'm like, don't mean? touch that. Don't, don't, uh, uh, like, I'm a little too. Oh, OK. So you're one of those people. It's like, do you, do you put? See, I, my grandmother used to put plastic on the couch. Anybody know about that? You see? Are you like that? I don't do that, <laughs> but I'm like, this is the couch for watching TV. This is like, you know, the living room. Like, let's not put dirty shoes. Well, you know kids, though. They're like, yes. put like muddy shoes on the couch, right? Ooh, you're strict with it. Well, OK. Doesn't nobody want that, though? That's what I always wonder. You know, to each his own in their house. I can't tell you what to do with yours. <laughs> I love that, though. OK, let's get into this. So you've been acting since you were six years old? Yes. Wow. <laughs> that is amazing. How did you get into acting? Um, I was, my family was in the entertainment industry, so my grandfather created the Honeymooners, and then my siblings were on Little House on the Prairie, and so. <laughs> I think I just... Um, you were born into it in a way. Huh? Yeah, so I think probably there's many people that could... 
be in this industry that don't realize that it's a reality. Mm. So the fact that they were in it just made me feel like it was normal. And then, speaking of that, like, you spent a lot of time here on the Warner Brothers lot. Like, for me, I like riding my bike around a lot. Did you do, like, was it like your playground? Did you do anything when you were out there? I did. Well, before I do a show, I like to warm up mm -hmm. and, you know, kind of get blood flowing. <laughs> so I would r jog around the lot or run up and down their stairs over by the, you know, the Friends fountain yeah. or yeah. whatever. So I would run up and down the stairs. But then I would see the tour buses go by, and I think they must be like, oh my God, Sarah Gilbert lost her mind. <laughs> I don't know why she's running up and down. Or you, it's funny, you run around the yes. block, you're like, oh, hi, Rob Lowe. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, it's like you see celebrities. It's just a strange... It is a lot. Don't you think I you agree. feel that way when you walk around? I agree, because I like riding my bike around a lot, and I do run into cars, and I always say, Hey, I'm running to the store. Y'all need something? And they'd be like, what is Jennifer Hudson <laughs> doing? So, but it's a fun place to run around in, I guess. It you know? is fun. Now, is speaking fun. of running around, I play a little basketball. I saw a picture of you with a little basketball. Do, do you play? Well, that was... That was really just for acting, I think. I mean, I did, oh. <laughs> I did play in high school and mm -hmm. I actually ran... I, I made a plan with some old high school friends yesterday and we were talking about, I was point guard mm -hmm. because I'm so small, that's the only option really. And uh, I didn't remember this, but I guess I was on the varsity team, but I'm terrible. Like, so that just lets you know how bad our high school was at sports. Oh, wow. Because yeah. I was going to say varsity is, ain't that like the big team? Well, I you think made it. probably second string. <laughs> so I maybe like went out once or twice, but yes, I am not coordinated. I'm not... I, I, I can do like the solo sports, like mm -hmm. snowboarding, things like that. But as soon as there's like hand-eye coordination, no, no. Well, I can't what snowboard. What about you? I can't. Snow I can do a little basketball, but I can't snowboard. And I hear you're good at pickleball. Well, I wouldn't say good. Like again, it's like a hand-eye. Oh. I just like it. <laughs> it's I mean, okay. It's, it's, it's like sort of it. embarrassing to say because everybody likes it uh -huh. now. But yeah. I do like it. It sounds like you just enjoy it and you have a lot of fun with it. Ain't I, nothing wrong with that, honey. That's right. Oh, should I learn how to play? You should. Come yeah. play with me. I want to learn. I don't know much about pickleball, so, you know, because I'm always, like, trying new things. And then, okay, so for me, like, I would go to, like, the All-Star games a lot and watch the basketball because I have a son and he's a basketball right. kid. Right. So I was like, I should probably start watching the games so when I go to the All-Star game, I really know you what's know. going on. You've done that with the NFL? You've watched, you've watched the sports now? Well, I would always watch the Super Bowl. And, e. and then I was like, well, this is fun. Why am I not watching during the season? <laughs> and then there was this meme going around of uh -huh. me and Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> so... <laughs> and then some, some people would say he looked like my kid. And so I started to just <laughs> get really into him. <laughs> Is he your favorite now? He's my favorite now. I love that. And people would say, would accuse me and say like, oh, you like that team because you like Taylor Swift. And I'm like, no, Taylor Swift's great. She's great. But that's my son. Like, that's why <laughs> I like that team. <laughs> so I'm like, you know, that's my, my end. But my, it is, it is funny because my kids just can't believe I'm watching it. It is sort of a strange turn of events that has happened. Definitely. More with Sarah Gilbert. We'll be right back. We're back with Sarah Gilbert. Oh my goodness, the show is amazing, the Connors. What can we expect from the new season? Well, we can expect uh, Darlene last season took a job as the lunch lady at a local uni like a local college so that her son could go to school. So now she's working there to get a tuition break, but she gave up some dreams and now he has to deal with his mom being on the college campus, which you know is every kid's, <laughs> <laughs> every, every kid's wish, right? Yeah. And then um, at where Dan and Louise are in the main house, they're kind of dealing with empty nest finally, like the middle-aged children have sort of moved out mm -hmm. late. Uh, and um, Becky ha is in a new relationship. Sean Astin's playing her boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, there's a lot of fun to be had this season. We cannot wait for all of that fun. You have inspired so many people. 
just through your art and your career and your craft. And so um, we have a few audience members that would love to meet you. Oh, I would yes. love to meet you. Where is Andrew? Wait, okay, I, uh, Andrew, how are you feeling? Because I see your face right now. Taking it back. Uh, <laughs> oh, hi. Hello. Nice to meet you. It's very honored to meet you. Um, my question for you um, is how do you keep moving forward through just the adversity, um, everything that you faced in life, and just finding that silver lining, that new horizon to just continue on? Well, that's a great question. I, I mean, I think I've been very lucky in life, so I feel any adversity I've faced is so small compared to so many people. So I just have a lot of gratitude for the path I've been on. That said, just being a human being, sometimes, you know, there's those days where it's hard to get through them and things get thrown at you. Relying on friends or just that inner sense of hope, trying to uh, feed that feeling maybe. And then uh, the other thing that's helped me a lot is just shutting down negative thoughts and feelings. I think there's a place to feel. You don't want to shut down if you're grieving or things that you need to feel, but you don't need to feed that beast. So mm. just pushing that away has made my mind a lot stronger and I think made me a happier person. Great. Thank you. Thank you for that great question. Yeah, I was gonna say, Angel, how does, how does Sarah inspire you? Um, so, a little bit about me is I actually came out recently to my parents and my family. So there was a big emotional drop for me and just yeah. kind of that inspiration that Sarah provided to me to kind of just embrace who I am and just be a part of life. And that's so great. And your parents handled it well, I guess, if they're here with you. It, it went well, yeah. It was a, it was a heavy emotion, yeah. but it was one very much relieved. I'm so happy to hear that. Yes. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you, Andrew. And where is Janice? Hello, everybody. Hi, Sarah. Darlene. You've really inspired me as well. You know, um, I've watched you since you've been on the Roseanne show mm -hmm. and now to the Connors. Um, I was watching a particular show and um, <clears throat> it was when your son was graduating and he wanted his dad to be there. Mm. You know, his deadbeat dad to be there. and. Uh, you know, I, I have a blended family as well, you know. I have a new husband, I have two kids, and I have my granddaughter living with me as well. So, you know, um, it just really touched home for me, you know, to where just my, my husband's always just like, well, who's going to be walking the kids down the aisle whenever, you know, do they, are they going to want me or are they going to want their real dad, you know? And it, it's, and watching your show, just how it relates to real life is, is inspiring and how you guys handle it and, and with the comedy. I just absolutely love it. Absolutely love your show. Thank I, you. I love you. Thank <laughs> you so much. Um, I so appreciate that. Who is going to be walking the kid down the aisle? <laughs> Good question. They're only 14, so, you know. <laughs> you, got got time. Time. you got time for that drama. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. And you've been on this a long time, so any advice you give, we will all take it, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Will you come back to see us again? I'd love to. All right, we love having you. The Connors airs Wednesdays at 8 on ABC. And the next day on Hulu, we'll be right back. Welcome back. Right now, I am joined by our art director at the Jennifer Hudson Show, the extraordinary Martine. Hi. Now, Martin, can you tell everyone what your job consists of here at the show? I'm the art director of the show and make sure everything looks fabulous for you. That's it. And it's just that simple. Okay. Well, today, Martin is here to help us out with one of our favorite segments called Out with the Old, In with the New Home Edition. Okay. So we have someone in the audience who could use a little help with interior design. And Martine, we know you're the perfect person to help her do it. Yes, okay? So Elsa, come on and join us. Oh, Hi. Hi. Hi, welcome. Can I give you a hug? Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. So what 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 do you have for us today? Well, I'm I do need help. I'm I'm out of uh, my mind with my son's room. He's 10 years old, he's really nice, he's a busy bee, but 
his toys are all over the place. He outgrew the crib, and I don't have a bed for him. But that room, it's almost impossible to the, bed in. You too. know what, Elsa? I understand. <laughs> It's the baby But see, it's the team. Like, my son's room ain't too far behind. Don't you get a son's room, Martin? I do, a 13 year old. So I totally get this. <sighs> Don't worry. Thank you for sharing this with us. I love the challenge. This is amazing. So I have a 13 year old, and it's very difficult to keep them to organize anything. Yes. Right? And then, let, and then they are growing, so they keep adding and adding more to it. Yes, and yes. he is very particular with his taste. He, he likes to keep. Uh, collectible stuff mm -hmm. and he keeps a little box here and then a little little box <laughs> there and there's just a pile of things, yes. and, things. and things that don't fit anymore I think he'd like yes oh. yes I totally get you so I think it's main, mainly trying to help you understand how to let it go yeah right but yeah. Elsa uh, hold on Elsa I think I see a is that a baby crib up in there <laughs> Girl. It is. He's, he's, he's about to be tall now. <laughs> yeah, I think the crib, you know, somebody else can use it. So yes. we can definitely donate it. That so would it's be good the to best. donate? It's, be it's great to donate. I work with the children's hospital, and they uh, all the process goes to them. So you can take it to the uh, thrift store, oh, for that, sure. So that would be the best thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, 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 definitely. So I'll also, to what did you bring today? So I brought some stuff mm -hmm. uh, from his room. I picked... Um, mm, Little things. Here we go. Oh, thank you. Yes. So let me well, we show got, you. I got it. Where do yes. we begin, yes. Martin? We begin, well, so, we begin by pulling this out. Yes, well, he's I, very much into Western. He uh -huh. loves everything about like, cowboys I love this. And and Indiana Jones yes. and baseball. And, stuff, uh, but <laughs> right now he's like uh, music and, and, and he wants to be yeah. uh, an right. artist. And so he tries a little bit of everything. He plays right. sports. He should. He should try everything. Yeah. Yes. And, I would say this is a donation. Right, he okay. doesn't fit on this. Right, I think yeah, we yeah. just like a donation sure pile. Period. Oh, but Indiana Jones, hot. Oh. But see, this is why you have people to yes, help girl. you, Elsa. Yes. <laughs> because no, you know we all need a little girl, help. You can stream it online. You'll be fine. You want to donate it? All right. Can we donate it? This one okay. right here. I think that I'll put it in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. Because it's still precious. Yes. No. Somebody's trash. Somebody else trash. Oh, but right? no, no, no. This is not going she anywhere. Said, no, 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 no. You're no. okay. okay. we'll we'll talking. It is cute, though. It is. Okay. I will wash those okay. and then donate it. Okay. okay. So where you want me to put them, Martin? You want me to wash donation, them? You want me to go to the kitchen? Donation. Donation. Put it in here. Yes. Donation. All right. Yes. Okay. Here. Elsa, Let's talk about a broken guitar and a broken toy that is missing everything. I think oh. this is trash. It is. Yes, it is. So it's that trash really is over there. Yes. Okay. I'll with it all. I love that she's defending everything. <laughs> I know. This is, this is why we're not there. moving forward. Oh my goodness, I love it. Okay, I'll with it all. We're done. Okay. Thank you for coming. <laughs> <laughs> and we're done. Okay. Then this, this is how we're going to do it. Okay. First of all, if it's in a box, he's never going to open it. What do what I will do? You moving real quick Come now, Martin. Hey, what uh -huh. do we do with the items we want to keep, though? This is what we're gonna do. Okay. So I will categorize, like you know, we have boats. I mean, you don't need more than one boat, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, but he plays battles and. All right. He has <laughs> battles. I love you. Sure, girl. Okay, this is trash. <laughs> sure, girl. Uh, with it all. Ah! Yeah, yeah. You can keep these toys together here. This yes. one, I would like to have act for him to have access to them. If you keep yes. it in the box, he feels that he shouldn't touch it. Is so, it is, he doesn't oh, make yeah. See, he got a little push <laughs> right there. Okay. Boom, okay. so we got rid of this bin. Yeah. Um, okay. Right? So, okay. What's next, Martin? What's next is... We have other treats left. Okay. okay. On that note, this... We got one more toy Elsa, right here. follow me, baby's please. Room. Elsa, yes. this <laughs> with me. No, come with me. Okay. okay. So this is a cubicle that you find anywhere. It's yeah. really good. Right? Uh, what I like is, like, you can put doors on it. Voila. Oh, doors will, <laughs> doors will be good. Doors. I like it. Well, and that way you don't have to see the mess. It's and then, Yes. And then when he comes out, he can take this, throw it on the floor, play, put it all back, and then Tuck go. Tuck it away. And put it away. Yeah. And then you, Boop. right? Yes. You have drawers. You have more. You can put his books here with dividers so he can just pull a book and nothing falls apart, read, yes. put it back on, and then shoes. So you have all of it here. And then we got some of his items. I know he likes um, Godzilla. Oh, very much. Uh -huh. Right? Yes. And what's so, over here? Well, what's over here is the must have a desk. You have to have a desk. 
He's 10 years old. He's going into school work. Little yes, school, too. school work. He's going to be a teenager. So he's going to have to do homework. And he needs to have a space. You told me that he's an A student. Is that right? Yes, he's really good grades. He's a really good. well behaved. like that. Yeah. Okay. He's pretty. <laughs> yes. 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 He's so a nerd. <laughs> you want to give him a space to honor that moment. He's an A student. I'm sure he's thinking all the time he wants to get creative, giving a lamp. I would like the lamp to have a light bulb that is a smart light bulb so you can change the color. So when oh. he's not studying, He's like, he can put it any color and then play music because he no, also plays play music. music. He is very much into music right. and the arts and all so that. So listen yes. to him, be connected to him. And when you clean the room, just talk to him. You know, yes. he's going to tell you who he is, what's his interest. Yes. Uh, and then as far as the thing, I wouldn't go into full theme, but I would put artwork uh, or frames and then just print artwork from the internet. And then from there, from, for example, here it has orange, yes. orange chair. So Absolutely. it's just it start Bring to give it a together. mood. Yes. A story. Keep yes. the story together. <laughs> I love that for you. Okay. You. Well, Elsa, we want to give you $250 to help you get started. Yes. Yes. Here you go. This is for you. Thank you for being a part Thank of this. Much. And encourage us. Okay, that was another edition of Out with the Old, In with the New. Thank you to Elsa and thank you to the Fabulous Martins for those nuggets that you gave us. For more interior design tips, go to JenniferHudsonShow.com. We'll be right back. Our next guest has been on a very important quest to satisfy cookie lovers everywhere. Please welcome cookie expert Alex George. Oh my God. Excited about this. Okay, Alex, I am the ultimate chocolate chip cookie lover. I have heard that you love a chocolate chip cookie. Woo! I am so excited about this. <laughs> I didn't even know it was that many different kinds. Oh, there are lots of different kinds. Okay. Tell me, how did you become an expert? Well, I started this journey because I found myself Googling every time I wanted to make chocolate chip cookies, and then I was just using whatever recipe came up first online. You know, mm -hmm. you kind of just hit the one that comes up first on Google yes. when you go to make something. Uh -huh. I thought, I can't be the only one with this problem. So the best thing that I thought I could do was make as many as possible, and then I'll just make a definitive sheet telling everybody on the internet what the best chocolate chip cookie on the internet really is. Mm. Could there even be, like, a best one? Well, it's interesting you ask that, because taste is so subjective. Well, exactly. So I made sure that the categories really encompass anything you could want in a chocolate chip cookie. We rate the texture, the flavor, the amount of effort that it takes to make the <laughs> chocolate chip cookie, because sometimes you just don't want to take out all the bowls, you know? Yeah. So that way, if your favorite chocolate chip cookie is not my favorite chocolate chip cookie, you can still go to this spreadsheet and say, you know, I like a chewy one. Which one has those characteristics? I like a thick one. I like a thin one. I like a crunchy one. You I know? think I like them all. <laughs> as you're going through it, I'm like... I want to try them all. Have you always been into baking? Always. I've baked my whole life. In high school, I had a little baking business. Aww. And I never did it online. And then in 2018, I was diagnosed with a rare form of bone cancer. And so as I was going through treatment, I was baking a ton. And I started this account called Cooking with Cancer. The only followers, I think, were my mom, who is here, Aww. and my friends. And that was it. And I never imagined that it would become what it is. So when I started this cookie journey, I just started posting on that account that I think had 15 followers. And then all of a sudden, we started doing this. And it, things changed very quickly. Nice. And I heard you say, Mom is here. Where is Mom? Mom's, Mom's here over. somewhere. Hey, at us, Mom. Now, do you eat a cookie every day? I'm averaging about a cookie a day. My yeah. dental health is suffering. Uh -oh. I've had two cavities. One root canal. But I have to continue this journey because at this point, it's bigger than me. It's for the good of the people. We need the chocolate chip cookies. We need the chocolate chip cookies. I'm with you on that, friend. So tell me, what's the best ranked cookie mm -hmm. now and why? While I taste it, and I'm going to find out for myself. <laughs> so the best ranked cookie none, is a brown butter chocolate chip cookie. It has mm. toffee in it. Mm. It's mm -hmm. chewy. It's a little crunchy. And now this one is to show you all the different ways that you can make them. This mm. one's a little chewy. Some crispy edges, dark chocolate, 72%. And then this next cookie here, obviously a lot more chocolate, a lot of varying kinds of chocolate. And we changed the ratio of flour and sugar to get a thicker cookie. And what do you think? I think they all good. <laughs> <laughs> now, the last one, <laughs> we did because we wanted to make you your perfect Jennifer cookie. OK. So I've been told that you like a little milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. And maybe a little bit of a thicker cookie, but not too monstrously thick. You know, just maybe the medium-sized cookie. Oh, my god. And so with that, we did a little crunch. There's mm -hmm. some nuts in there. And you know, it's a little gooey in the center. So that is the Jennifer cookie. 
Y'all ain't want nothing, did so. <laughs> no, it be lighter. But let me keep taste testing. Give me a second. <laughs> I'm still chewing. Hold on. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. So you can teach me the type of cookie I like? Oh, we can teach you how to make the perfect Jennifer cookie. OK. Alex, I want to put all three of them. <laughs> yeah, I told you, I love some chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> Listen, more with Alex after this. We'll be right back. I'm going to try all three. We're back with cookie expert Alex Joyce, who's going to teach me how to make my favorite type of chocolate chip cookie. Oh my goodness, I can't wait for this. Okay, so show me how we make my cookie. Alex. All right, now we've already established that your favorite chocolate chip cookie mm -hmm. is the one that's a little bit thick, a little bit of milk chocolate, but you know, not too thick and gooey. A medium, you know, Goldilocks, um, just right in the middle. So I what like we're going to do is we're going to take our brown sugar and white sugar, and we are going to whisk them together with some melted butter. You can also do this by hand if sometimes you just don't feel like getting out the big mixer. Mm -hmm. I completely approve of that. And we are going to let this run for a little. And luckily, we have all of our ingredients prepped already, so okay. we're just going to let it do its thing. We're going to turn that on four. We're going to whisk in a little bit of air to that. And this is going to help that cookie have that classic cookie taste. Brown sugar is what makes a chocolate chip cookie yeah. taste like a chocolate chip cookie. Mm, you are such an expert. <laughs> And now, we're going to add the eggs as this whisks up. But the thing is, we're adding whole eggs and egg yolks. And that is a chocolate chip cookie secret. We're going to do the dry ingredients. I'm going to have you help me. Okay. You're going to take all these dry ingredients and put them into this bowl, right. just like this. OK. Now, all who, right. what do you want me to do? Empty all these dry ingredients into this bowl. In here? Mm -hmm. So these are two different kinds of flours. We have cake flour and regular flour, or all-purpose flour. That's another cookie secret. If you want better. a really tender cookie, you use cake flour. Because like when we make a cake, we're making something tender, light, and fluffy. So you use cake flour for a cookie? Mm-hmm. I think that's something. It okay. really is. And then we get the cookie of our dreams. We get the Jennifer cookie. The Jennifer cookie. And then we're going to whisk it all up. Okay. One cookie mistake I think people make a lot is they don't whisk together their dry ingredients. And then okay. you get clumps of things, which you really don't want a clump of anything but chocolate in your chocolate chip cookie. Mm. Just no good. Mm. Now, we're going to add this to the mixer. Do you want to do the honor? You want me to do it? I don't know if you want me to do this, but right. we're going to try. I will say, you're sort of set up for failure in the sense that I feel like nobody can do this without, <laughs> you know, it's almost impossible to not spill I a think I got it, y'all. Hold on. Oh, wait a minute. Did I do it right? Oh, wait, yes. Yeah. Hey. Hey, you did oh, great. What I made. <laughs> I ain't know where it was going to end up. OK. It's perfect. All right, turn okay. that up to, let's put one more on Thank there. Get it to four. Thank you for Thank you. OK, Bring it up one notch. Yeah, Ooh. we'll get it going. Oh, Lord, oh, hold on. Not too much. OK, is that good? That's perfect. We're going to let that go. You're going to tell me what kind of chocolate you want in this cookie. We have a couple different kinds of chocolate here. OK. What do you think? We got I milk dark. One. You want the milk chocolate? That's dark right there? Yeah, these look no, like semi-sweet or dark. Chocolate. You want to try one and see? Let me see. I know what I like, though. Semi-sweet. You like it? I like it. It's good. Let me try this one. <laughs> That's better. This one it is. That's better. All right. We're going to add our chips to our dough. And now everybody knows the Ooh. best part of making cookies is the cookie dough. Yes. Oh, is that the cookie dough face? Oh, it's at the cookie dough face. That was All right. quick. Yeah, we got it there. And one of my favorite things is the smell of it cooking. So oh, like, yeah. Anytime I see a kid come to my house, I think I need to get them chocolate chip cookies. Mm -hmm. So girl, you should see me cutting that package open. <laughs> <laughs> and I put it up in that oven. <laughs> Chat. So I'm gonna step my game up because this gonna yes. let me be able to make some Jennifer chocolate chip cookies. Well, yes, and that's. <laughs> now what? Okay. Are you ready? All okay. right. What so you're gonna doing? scoop. The best way to scoop a chocolate chip cookie is with a cookie scoop, and the reason is you're gonna get an even cookie every single time. When you roll with the ball, sometimes you get a small one, a big one, and then if you go to bake them in the oven, maybe one gets really burnt and crispy, and the other one's not even done yet because they're all different sizes. The best way to make a uniform <laughs> cookie is just it's an ice cream scoop, one like this, and then scoop it onto your parchment. I now like you do this. one right here, okay, and then we'll put a third one in, and then we'll bake them. Gorgeous. Wait, right here. Right there. I Perfect. Follow instructions. Is that good? That looks great. All right, one more. And then my final tip and trick if you're making chocolate chip cookies is you ever feel like you don't have a really beautiful bakery cookie when you come out of the oven? Mm -hmm. You know, you look at it and you're like, I, I saw a photo online that looks nothing like it. Yes. One trick is to adorn your cookie with love and chocolate chips before it goes into the oven. So then when you that. pull it out, 
it looks, well, it looks more like a photo of a chocolate chip cookie than it does just kind of like a scoop of dough. And that way it'll look really nice and pretty. But I'm gonna bake these now. You ready? I'm so excited about that. Putting them in the magic oven? Put it in the magic oven. She got a Hold magic on. oven. Magic oven's doing its work. You know I got Wow. That, that, hey. is that is beautiful. And this is the j Hood cookie? This is the j Hood cookie. Oh my goodness. Okay, tell me, Alex. It? Yes, I got a taste of my cookie. Mm. Gorgeous. Man, you, you know, sometimes you want to look at the cookie and pick, pick which cookie you want. Yeah. Your cookie look better than mine. Can really? I, <laughs> let me get yours. Okay. <laughs> mm. How is it? It's so good. It is, right? Oh my God, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Go on, Jennifer, go! Well, you know what? I want to spread a little bit of joy. Our studio audience is going home with my delicious Dre Hunt chocolate chip cookie. Come here, baby, it's Alex over here. You get a cookie! You get a cookie! <laughs> and I got my cookie! Oh my, this is so good. It is? You understand the joy cookies being time. Okay. If you want to follow Alex Cookie Quest and check out the recipe we made today, head to thejimfonsonshow.com. I'm chewing. Thank you so much, Alex. This is so good. You want one? OK. We'll be right back. Welcome back. April 4th was the great Maya Angelou's birthday. She was a prolific writer, poet, and activist. And even though she's no longer with us, her legacy lives on. Maya Angelou has given us so many quotes that are just as powerful as ever. So I thought we could honor Maya's memory of reflecting on some of them right now. Does that sound good, y'all? Yeah. OK, I am going to start with one of my favorite ones. Maya Angelou said, this is a wonderful day. I've never seen this one before. Yeah. It is a beautiful reminder that each day is a gift that brings new possibilities. Now, I would love to hear some of your favorites. Lexi, come on over here. Hi. Hello. You look so precious. Thank you. You do, too. Mm. Uh, thank OK. You. Tell me where you're from and what do you do? So I'm from Los Angeles, California, and I'm a project manager for an adoption agency. It's called Guardians of Love. It's located in South Central LA. So nice. yeah. Oh, well, we're happy That's to have you here. OK, so what's one of your favorites from her? So my favorite is success is liking yourself, liking what you do, and liking how you do it. You better <laughs> know it. Oh my god. And what does that mean to you exactly? So it teaches me and reminds me to be on purpose, in purpose, for a purpose. Um, and I just want to make sure that everything that I do is for a purpose. So um, I feel like success is not a journey. It's a mindset. You, you better speak. <laughs> she lives in you. I love that. Thank you. Thank, thank you for you. that. And keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. That was nice beautiful. Oh my god, you as well. <laughs> Ayo, where are you? Come on over. Ayo, nice to see you. You. Nice to meet you. Okay, tell me where are you from and what do you do? Um, I'm from Nigeria. Beautiful. Well, I've been here since 2018. I'm into sales and comms. Yes. Nice. Thank and you. what is your favorite quote? When someone shows you who they are, believe them the first time. <laughs> that is a good one. Yeah. <laughs> and what does that mean to you? Um, I mean, as a Christian, we have to love. Yes. you know, and give grace, but also we should walk in discernment. Mm. And if someone gives you a reason over and over, then, you know, you watch Use them closely. Assignment. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> ma'am. Thank you, Ayo. Thank you. So Thank you. Love your accent. Thank you. All right, come on over. Tiffany, right? Hi, Jennifer. Hi. Where are you from and what do you do? I live in Valencia, California, just up the road. Okay. Six Flags. Um, and I work in global health, maternal health, and women's rights. Nice. Yeah. And what do you have? Well, I actually have a little excerpt of a poem oh. because I actually had this read at my wedding. Beautiful. Um, and yeah, because she really embodies just courage and inspiration. So this, mm. this is one about love. We are weaned from our timidity in the flush of love's light. We dare be brave. And suddenly we see that love costs all we are and will ever be. Yet it is only love which sets us free. Beautiful. Thank you for that, Tiffany. Thank you, Jennifer. Oh, my goodness. Happy heavenly birthday to Maya Angelou. Thank you for continuing to inspire us each and every day. We'll be right back. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel.
Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.